Okay, guys, uh, practice uh, mono hybrid question number two, page seven from your notes there. So uh, let's get right to the question here. It says, in sheep, uh, white wool, and I just give me a second here to set my pen. Okay, it says, white wool is dominant to black wool. Again, uh, we got information to be able to do a legend right now, so don't read any further. Let's just go work on our legend, which is step one of our problem solving strategy. So it says white wool is dominant. So we're gonna give that a capital W. We're gonna put a line here, again, indicating that it doesn't matter what that other allele is. As long as I have a capital W in my genotype, a genotype are always in pairs, it is going to be white. And dominant to black wool, meaning black wool is going to be recessive. It doesn't get a B, but it gets the smaller case of the dominant trait. Dominant trait being white, so it gets little Ws. And the same deal here. If it's recessive, the only way it can be recessive black is if I have two recessive black alleles. Okay, so that's black. Okay, so there's our legend, step one. Step two, underline the parents. It says a heterozygous white female is crossed with a heterozygous white ram. Indicate the genotypes and the phenotypic ratio of the F1 offspring, so the first generation offspring. So when they say indicate the genotype and the phenotype, genotype, you must do a Punnett square because that Punnett square is showing you the genotypes of the individuals and then the phenotypic ratio we'll talk about in a sec here. So our two parents are heterozygous for both so let's put the male here, capital W, little w, hetero, prefix for different. So those alleles, paired alleles are gonna be different. Same thing with this female, capital W, little w. So there's the genotypes, ready for our step three, Punnett square. And we're gonna take those genotypes and we're gonna isolate them into gametes. So uh, in this case, we know the female. So she goes across the top, capital W, little w. Again, those uh, alleles are, are segregating into gametes during meiosis, and the male is the same thing. So we'll put him down there. Fill this in, capital W, capital W, inside the box. We're also gonna put the phenotype white. Uh, capital W, little w, phenotype white. Again, we're looking at our legend. That's what we're interpreting from our legend. Capital W, little w, capital W, meaning it is white. And here is our little w, little w. Very similar question than what we did in question one, page seven. So uh, count out of the boxes here. Oh, we're not doing probability, we're doing the genotype. Genotype is already expressed in the Punnett square, so we don't have to do anything with that. Phenotypic ratio. Phenotypic ratio, we take a look how many whites out of the four boxes, three are white. And then we put this little colon, uh, one out of the four boxes, or sorry, I mess, messed it up. Uh, yeah, no, no, that's white, and one is being black. So there is our phenotypic ratio, a three to one ratio. You will have to indicate what the three represents and the one represents. Okay, any questions, uh, just give me an email and we can go through that. Thanks, guys, bye.